Speed has definitely been a big calling card of Ruhan's game, acquired in a trade with the Tampa Bay Rays. The 1-0. And Ruhan hits it in the air to right, fairly deep. Back on it is Tucker, and he will just watch that one go. Vidal Bruhan with his first home run of the spring. And the Marlins have a 1-0 lead on the leadoff homer. Now pretty coy there, too, showing bunt on the first pitch. And almost setting up the, the pitcher and catcher there. Brelak comes back with a predictable fastball, and Bruhan was ready for it. 2-1 pitch to Jazz. Chisholm Jr. has hit a mile in the air to right field. Over in the corner, Koperniak. He's at the wall, and this is gone. That is a bomb for Jazz Chisholm Jr. He sent that thing to outer space, and then he wrapped it deep and around the right field foul pole. Chisholm has hit a home run in consecutive days. A little shoulder shrug for the Marlins dugout as he rounds third. And just like that, it's 2-0 Miami. First and second with two outs. Here's a swing and a drive. This is hit high and deep to right field, and it is gone. Jazz Chisholm Jr. has gone deep three times in the past two days. He's driven in five this afternoon. He's two for two with a pair of bombs. It's seven to five. I think he got a good pitch to hit. Jazz unloads on this one. This time there is no doubt that that ball is out of there. This one driven to right. Tristan Casas is going to watch it fly and leave the yard. Tristan Casas with his second homer of the spring. And he ties the game at two. And this one here, just fastball in her half. He just turns on it again. That's 95. That's a nice short stroke with juice. Brett Beatty hits one deep to right field. Back goes Walker. Looks up. And it's on the berm, and it's gone. Brett Beatty, his second home run of the spring, and he ties the game at 1-1. That was a no-doubter off the bat of Brett Beatty. That's the, that's the thing you love to see from Brett Beatty, taking that next step, and Beatty extends those arms, uses that power that we know he has. Connor Norby jacks one into left field. That ball is well hit. That ball is out of here. Connor Norby turn and burn. Boy, this young man has had a tremendous career as a power hitter in the minor leagues, hoping to show it at the big league level. He takes Chris Bassett deep, and he ties the game. A no-doubter for Norby, his first homer of the spring. Here's a bullet to right field. Dalton Varsho, wow, smokes a no-doubter as his hot spring continues. His first home run of the spring, and boy, he put a swing on that. You know, he's talked about looking for pitches that he can do some damage on, and boy, did he ever get a good pitch to hit right there. Inner half of the plate, and he was ready to swing, and he put a charge in this one. Oh, Holiday, right center field. That ball is tagged. Jackson Holiday does it again. His second home run of the spring. They both come against Blue Jay big leaguers. First, it was Yusei Kikuchi nine days ago, and now he unloads on Chad Green. I mean, it's starting to feel like every day is a holiday. His second long ball in spring, and I'm telling you, folks, the kid is real. Kowser on 3-2, drills one to center field. Colt Kowser has still not put a ball in play. That ball went over the batter's eye. My goodness. An absurd display of left-on-left -left power from Colton Kowser, who absolutely destroys the Orioles' third home run of the game, and none more impressive than this. Singles, a walk, two runs scored, and he just tied the game, perhaps. Yes, he did. Line shot over the wall in right center, and it is an 8-8 ball game. We're talking about this guy and that quick bat. We saw a home run that was that would have been a home run. It was foul early in the ball game. This one he didn't hit foul. This one he connected on a line shot to right center. Three field. two pitch into Charlie and he belts it high and deep to right center field and it is out of here. Touch of all time. Charlie Blackman. 
his first long ball of the spring. He is three for three today with three RBIs, seven nothing Rockies. Two balls, one strike to Hanniger. And the pitch. Fastball swung on, driven to the gap, right center field. Got carry, and it is up on the Berman out of here. A two run homer by Mitch Hanniger. And he blasts home run number four, RBIs five and six. And what a robust second inning for the Mariners. Got it on a 2 1 pitch, and he drove that baby out. Better of here. contact, you will hit the ball harder. When you hit the ball harder, you increase your odds greatly. The pitch. Is skied out to left field, up into the breeze. This is really carrying back. How about this rainmaker from Dylan Moore? Up to the clouds, a three-run home run out to left field. The Mariners have officially blown it open today against the Rockies. It's a 10 spot. 10-2 to two Mariners, and it's only the third inning. He got that way up in the blue sky and mixed the clouds and, and the jet stream, and it just kept on From the going. stretch. And right-hander kicks and deals. High fastball swung on and built it deep to left field. And Trammell doesn't find it, still looking for it, and it's long gone. That's why he couldn't find it. He lost it in the sun, but it was about 15 feet beyond the fence into the Mariner bullpen. A home run for Goodman. First pitch thrown by Carvello. Yanked out of here. It's a 12-3 game. Neto the batter and the pitch. And he swings and drives the ball deep into left field. Going back on that one is Thompson. And it's way out of here. Zach Neto connects. That comes with two outs. That's a two-run homer. Third home run this spring for Neto. And the Angels have the lead. It is three to one. Zach Neto has demonstrated he can be a power hitting shortstop. Nine home runs in about 40% of a season last Thomas year. Thompson, runner at third with two outs and a pitch to Thompson. He swings and sends a high fly ball deep left center field. Back is Adele. He looks up. It is long gone. Bubba Thompson launches a two run home run. And now the Reds are right back in it. It is eight to six, Angels. Well, after hitting into two double plays, Bubba Thompson just decided, well, I'm getting this one in the air. And right-hander delivers the pitch. That swung on, drive to deep left field. Jankowski just looks up, and it is gone. Wow, onto the berm. That got out of here in a hurry. A two-run shot for Andujar is team-leading fifth home run of the spring. And the A's lead at 2 0. That ball was absolutely smoked. That ball caught too much of the plate, and Anduhar exploited it, and it exploded off his right. The pitch hammered to left field. Jankowski is back. He's looking up. It's gone over the bullpen and left. A three run homer for Brent Rooker. 5 to 2 A's. It is Brent Rooker's second Cactus League home run. And he picked on the first toss of Kirby Yates to pound it. To the count on uh, J.J. Blade, 2-2 pitch. That swung on. A fly ball to right field. Hit pretty well. Going back there. A kill at the wall. And it is gone out of the burn. J.J. Blade with a solo shot. The A's lead at 6-2. Blade with his second hit of the afternoon. It's his second spring home run. His seventh spring RBI. He is swinging a really hot bat right now. Here's pitch. Is swung on and hit high and deep into the right field corner. Yastrzemski goes to the wall, leaps, and it's over his glove for a home run. Nick Prado has hit his third home run of spring training, and that gives him a team-leading 10 RBIs. And the Royals lead 2-0 in the second inning. That ball was hit as high as it was far, which gave Yastrzemski a chance to get underneath it and jump as high as he could, but he had no chance. And the 1-1 swing, fly ball, deep right center. Yastrzemski going back, looking up, and that ball is out of here. It's a home run for Nick Lofton here at Scottsdale Stadium as he goes oppo. It's his second homer on the spring. A leadoff walk, and now a homer, and the lead back. It's 4-2. to Came on a 1-1 pitch, so a walk and a homer. A 2-2 game suddenly is a 4-2 Royals. Lead. So, Matos catches a break. High drive to left. Hit it to the bullpen out of here hey the kids got another one and that's his fourth of the year jumps all over it this is a piece of hit right here just look how balanced he stays curveball up 
The weight doesn't move forward at all, stays on the back leg and turn and burn. No flip. High drive to left. It is on a hair. And that clears the bases. And that is inside corner. I haven't seen many better hitters at getting to the inside fastball. He knew it. Look at him. Oh. I just said He's that. going for the cycle. I've never seen before. What's that? In his backswing, he actually hit himself in the helmet. So since he stopped doing those. Rave hits a line drive to center field, and that will be by the diving Mungia in center field, and that's going to roll all the way to the wall. Rave is on his way to third, and he's going to be waved home. Here's the relay to the plate, and he is going to be in there with a two-run inside the park home run. Well, it was only 10 years too late. <laughs> so the Royals have tied the game at eight with a two-out inside the park home run. 